What's up everybody and welcome back to another extra video. Today we're hopping into the 8th episode of the first season of Game of Thrones, The Pointy End. And oh my god, what an episode we had uh, last. We had um, Robert had died, unfortunately. Like, oh my god, I freaking love Robert so much. His laugh was so infectious and he was amazing and his friendship with Ned was one of the, my favorite things about the show and they killed him. Oh my god, I'm so sad. Um, so because of that, there's this power struggle because Ned knows that um, Cersei's blonde-headed little bitch boy is not Robert's son. It is her brother's son. Oh my god, that's so gross. Uh, so he found that out that her kids are not actually Robert's, they are her brother's, so they actually have no claim to the throne. And of course, Cersei is going to defend the throne, saying that it is her throne or her son's throne, but let's, let's be real, it's going to be hers, and her son's just going to be like the little, you know, mouthpiece. Um, and so Ned... So Ned was instructed that he was going to be in command until Robert's rightful heir came of age. Um, Cersei did not honor that and said, hell with that. And I am going to kidnap you. And I'm going to kill all your men. I'm going to hold you at night point. And Littlefinger is going to betray you just like he said he would. So great. And then we found out that also um, Daenerys was almost murdered, but she wasn't. And her husband gave this like really inspiring, like goosebumps inducing speech at the end. Who's going to get her her throne? So uh, I'm excited to see what happens. Um, so I'm excited to get into this next episode. This show, I feel like it's just, just getting started, and uh, I'm excited to see where this show goes. So if you want to see my full reaction early, you can head on over to my Patreon page. I'll have the link in the description below, or hang out right here on YouTube, that's fine. Just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So I'm ready to get into this episode. Grogu's ready to get into this episode. So let's go. This is the eighth episode of the first season of Game of Thrones, The Pointy End. Let's go. I love she's getting all these lessons. It's so fun. Oh god, that's not fun. Oh, oh. <sighs> yeah, they're coming to kill you and your family. Oh my god, oh my god. Arya Stark, come with us. Your father wants to see you. And why is it? But Lord Eddard is sending Lannister men in place mm, of his own. He is so smart! And I don't have to go with you if I don't want. Oh! Oh no, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh my god. We got like a wooden sword versus actual sword. This is not good. Yeah, get out of there, girl. Dude, he's so good. If he actually had a real sword. Girl, you gotta run. I'm sorry. I'm not safe. Maria! Stay oh! Oh! Maria! What madness led you to tell the queen you had learned the truth about Joffrey's birth? Thank you! Thank you! Madness of mercy. Well, now it's got you locked in a cell. It wasn't the wine that killed Robert, nor the boar. It was your mercy that killed the king. What is he talking about? I trust you know you're a dead man. What do you truly serve? The realm, my lord. Someone must. All right. At least you know where your loyalties are. The smell. There is not. Hmm. If they've been dead for a long time, wouldn't they be rot? Yeah. We should burn them. You may be a coward, Charlie. You're not stupid. <laughs> is there any word of my father? Sis. Yeah, when someone says sit, that's not good. Lord Stark has been charged with treason. They say he conspired with Robert's brothers to deny the throne to Prince Joffrey. I hope you're not thinking of doing anything stupid. Your duty 
lies here now. Your father has proved to be an awful traitor. King Robert's body was still warm when Lord Eddard began plotting to steal Joffrey's rightful throne. He wouldn't do that. He knows how much I love Joffrey. Yet you are the daughter of a traitor. How can I allow you to marry my son? Really? A child That's born why? of a traitor's seed is no fit consort for our king. If you would help your father, urge your brother to keep the king's peace. Tell him to come to King's Oh. 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 She's so innocent and so easily manipulated. It is your sister's hand, but the queen's words. You are summoned to King's Landing to swear fealty to the new king. Joffrey puts my father in chains. Now he wants his ass kissed. Yeah, basically. Call the banners. Now we'll see what the words are worth. He's gonna go to war. Fuck yeah, let's go, Rob. You afraid? Hmm? <laughs> A bit. Means you're not stupid. Fair. You've had this since dawn. My husband has been taken prisoner. You're asking me to send men from the Vale to fight? That is what I ask. Right? They killed my husband. These people will do anything, and that is why we have to stop them. Knights of the Vale will stay in the Vale where they belong. Uh, okay, well then screw you. That's all I have to say. Screw you then. What do you want, Bron? Gold? Women? Gold and women? <laughs> Stick with me and you'll have them all. The day ever comes when you're tempted to sell me out. Remember this. Whatever the price, I'll beat it. I like living. <laughs> I love him so much. I Oh my god. I love their dynamic. It's so good. How would you like to die, Tyrion, son of Tywin? My own bed? At the age of 80? With a belly full of wine and a girl's mouth around my cock? <laughs> <laughs> I love him so Take much. Dance for the children. Kill the other one. No, 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 no. That trinket is worth more than everything your tribe earns. But if you help us, Shagger, son of Joff, will give you this. The Vale of Aaron. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh god! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! How is he not dying? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No. <gasps> oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Look behind you, look behind you, look behind you. I guess that worked. Fire, cool. I thought the doctor he didn't believe in money. Gold to hire ships, princess. Ships to sail to Westeros. They did this for her? Bring her to me, and those women there. Yeah, he's like, I'm going to kill you myself. Oh! 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 Oh my god, this is tongue! Oh my god! fingers and he's laughing a dire wolf just ate your fingers and you're laughing oh my god these men are crazy they were touched by white walkers that's why they came back that's why their eyes turned blue ah only fire will stop them okay well at least we know how to kill them how do you know that i read about it in a book what else did the book say the white walkers sleep beneath the ice for thousands of years and when they wake up I hope the wall's high enough. Oh my god. That wall is massive. Uh, I'm officially scared. Aww. Our best hope, our only hope, is that you can defeat them in the field. Okay. Your father dies. Fuck. Your sisters die. 
No pressure. Well, that makes it simple then. If the half man betrays us, we'll cut off his manhood. And feed it to the goats, yes. <laughs> so, yes, I know the drill. All right then, time to meet my father. This is going to go really well. I can already tell. Hi, Dad. Hi. Robert Baratheon is dead. Joffrey rules in King's Landing. Mm-hmm. Send word to Jamie that I'm moving against Rob Stark. At once, my lord. Okay, but what about these guys? Ride with me against my enemies, and you shall have all my son promised you and more. Only if the half man fights with us until we hold the steel he pledged us. Oh fuck! <laughs> There's no way he's ever seen no, battle at all. Tywin moves. We captured a Lannister scout. Don't worry, lad. He won't be leaving this tent with his head. <laughs> Let him go. Wait, what? Tell Lord Tywin, winter is coming for him. Twenty thousand northerners marching south to find out if he really does shit go. God. Yes, my lord. Yo. Thank you. I am loving Rob right now. Are you touched, boy? You call me boy again. Yeah, bitch. The council has determined that Sir Jamie Lannister will take your place as Lord Commander of the King's Guard. A man who could fend his blade with the blood of the king. Shocker. Careful, sir. I am a knight. I shall die. A knight. <laughs> Please, Your Grace, I ask mercy for my father. Treason is treason. Can't do anything. God. Anything else? If you still have any affection in your heart for me, please do me this kindness, Your Grace. Your sweet words have moved me, but your father has to confess. He has to confess and say that I'm the king. Okay. No mercy for him. So if he says he's the king, then what? All right, let's go ahead and talk about it. Well, that was the eighth episode of the first season of Game of Thrones, The Pointy End. And, oh my God, so much happened in this episode. I'm trying to just wrap my head around everything. Um, like, everything is just amping up, and it's so juicy, and it's getting so, so good. Um, so... Ne okay, we're going to start with... There's so many storylines. I don't even know where to start on, like, recapping everything. Uh, so basically in this episode, Ned is in prison, essentially, because they're thinking that he is committing treason by saying that Joffrey is not the king, which is, in fact, true. But no one else knows that. And, of course, it, um, the Lannisters don't want to lose power, so they're going to say that Joffrey was Robert's son. Everyone knows he's not, or... The audience knows that he's not. And um, at the end, Sansa goes to Joffrey and basically asks for mercy for her father. And apparently, if he just confesses that Joffrey is the rightful king, all is forgiven. But I have a feeling that's way too easy on the show. Um... So we'll see what happens there in that whole scenario. Um, but I do have a lot of respect for Sansa. I've hated her in this entire series so far. I think she's so annoying. But that last scene with her was really good. I actually have respect for her of being like, you know, my dad, he's not, he didn't want to, he's not against the throne, he didn't even want to be hand, he's a friend, he did not betray Robert, and all these things. So, I guess if he confesses that Joffrey is a true king, all will be forgiven, I guess. But honestly, it's not going to be that easy, and I'm so scared for what's going to happen. Um, we also got to see that these guys came back from north of the wall, and... I don't know if it's like how they become these ice zombies, but if it's like any zombie or vampire show that you see, I guess they got bitten or killed or something and got their blood or infection or something onto their system to the point where like they can come back to life and nothing hurts them until they are burned. So at least we know how to destroy them, but they keep saying like, 
there's going to be, they're like, there's a huge army that's coming and this wall better hold or we're all extremely fucked, essentially. So we have that, which is very scary. Um, Arya is missing, so I hope she's all right, but I, I think she's okay because they didn't really, they had her at the beginning, so I'm guessing she's going to be fine. I pray because I love her. And then we also have Robert, who made a huge push in this episode, becoming an awesome character because we didn't get a lot with him before. I didn't really know who he was as the oldest son of Ned, but in this episode he was so he was becoming the leader that his dad needs him to be to come to his rescue. And he basically told this one guy who was like, I'm not going to do what you want me to do. And he's like, all right, you do that. I'm going to come after you then. Boy, like, <laughs> it was awesome. Just showing his power, which was great. Um... And showing command that he has. And everyone keeps saying, yeah, he's green, he's green. But, like, sure, he might be new to fighting war. Um, but so far, as being a leader, like, I feel like he is. He's not putting up a shit. And he's like, follow me to rescue my dad or get out, bitch, and I'll come after you later, essentially. So, uh, good for him. We'll see where all that goes. And then we have... Tyrion, who met up with his father, um, and I guess they're going to go after the Starks, because I guess the Starks are going after the Lannisters, because the Lannisters are essentially the throne, and they're trying to go and get their dad out, so... War's coming, baby. Winter is coming. War is coming. And this whole thing is really escalating because we only have two episodes left of this first season. And you can tell things are just amping up. And I, oh my God, I can feel the tension of everything that's going on right now. And like, there were a few episodes there in the middle that were kind of slow, I'm not going to lie. A lot of just like casual conversations. And it, and I understand they are all very vital. And paying attention to them is is important. And I get that. Y'all are telling me that. I get it. Um, but I feel like all of that set up the dynamics between characters, the dynamics between the kingdoms and the power struggles and everything that had happened in the past to set up to... I just feel like this is on, like, thing... Like, shit's about to hit the fan. And... I'm scared and nervous and excited all at the same time. I'm not going to lie. Um, like I said, this season is getting really, really good. And I, I, for one, cannot wait to see what happens next. So um, if you want to see my full reaction, head on over to my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Or hang out right here on YouTube. That's fine. Just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you for the next episode. <laughs>